All right. Looks like I received a package from Knock on Archery. Let's see what's next for the bow room. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It is their wrap pad. Good deal. Obviously, this is going to be my arrow station. So that's cool. That's cool. What else? Bitsenberg fletching jig, world's finest. This jig has been preset to the exact specs of John Dudley's custom arrow bill. I will personally do a free fletch, but that's good. Good to know. A couple of wrenches, clamp, just like that. I'll read those maybe. YouTube does a fine job of teaching me things, so I'll probably do that. I got some knock on wraps, white, because I want to see the blood. I got the black, black fletching uh, as for my single fletching. And yellow high flow for the sides, which I have high flow strings. So that's why I went with that. And I get a sticker from my very own. Good deal. I'll fletch it at some point. Not today. Um, come on, right now. I this is the Carbon Express Arrow Saw. So, box number two. kind of heavy. Whoa. All right. This guy. Let's figure out where to put him. Should I put him up here like that? And put this here? Like that? Out of the way. Don't. Just gotta run electricity to this side of the room. Cause I don't have any. Mm, yes, always do those things. A little dust collector, but they didn't bring me, they didn't give me a dust bag. Mm, so I have to make something happen here. There's your blade in there. Here is your measurements with uh, this little guy. So you put your knock in there. Huh? Let's see, 27, I'm sure. I think I'm about 27. I wonder if it's right on 27. So if I put it right at 27, is that going to make my arrow oh, finicky? So I put my knock back there. Let's see, puts it there. I don't know if that's. Uh, let me measure it from against that. Looks like it's 27 and 1 8. And whatever. I'll just cut it. Well, it's with that knock also. We have all different knocks. Whatever. I'm happy. I'm going to cut this stuff. It's going to be great. So let's see what arrow length that I want to have. I'll just stick an arrow in here. Half inch insert. Maybe more. Half inch. I'm okay with cutting my arrow right there. Alright, good deal. 
So I can't wait. I'm going to cut my first arrow. I have a couple of arrows here that need cut down anyway. This one is split on the end and this insert is bent on this one. So I'm gonna cut them. Let's have at it. <laughs> Okay, so the shop is pretty much complete. Still have a mess back there, gotta pick up. I'm really happy with it. I'm sure there'll be some add-ons here and there, but for the most part, uh, this thing's done. Yeah, yeah, got a little couch and cup holders for coffee. Gotta have that. I ended up giving these, the arrows uh, that I was cutting to my daughter, which, I'm having an issue with her bow. It's the Elite Basin, and I keep getting a, a, a right tear, like a half inch right tear, and I can't get it out. I, I've done everything. If anybody has any suggestions on how to get this bow um, to paper tune, that would be most helpful. Thank you so much. Let's see. Um, yeah, so this is what it's doing. Uh, that's about it right there for what I'm getting now. So, suggestions would be helpful. Um, I ended up building my own arrows uh, with the, the veins and the wraps that I got from Knock on Archery. I was at a 340 spine with those ones. This one's a 300 spine. It's still an Axis 5mm. Um, with a stainless steel, with a stainless steel insert, which I like better. It's a 75 grain insert. It brings this arrow to a whopping 509 grains. Um, I've never shot an arrow that heavy. Uh, these were at like 460. They're like hammers, but that's what I'm using this year. So cool. Bring it on. So yeah, it's been fun. Now it's time to learn and keep making videos. Christ is king, keep slinging arrows.